treatment. I think about everything. I mean, I don't know that anyone ever thinks like I do, you know, but I'm sure they do. But when I think about everything, how it's made, how it's created, how intricate it is and how detailed, you know, and especially when I come back out here and I see just how wide a variety of plants, structure, leaf, flower, stem, stalk, the color coordinations, the response to sun, the variances that happen within a coleus, or the cactus, or the cacti, and all that there is here, I think of it as being, to me, miraculous. Now, a person that deals with it on a regular basis, they would say, oh no, you know, that, that's normal, you know, that just does what it always does, you know, set of circumstances. Because you see, someone that works with plants would say, oh, that's normal. And they wouldn't maybe appreciate it quite the same way. When I discover something that steps out of the ordinary of my life, I think of it as miraculous. And someone says, oh, no, that's normal, when they've dealt with miraculous all their life. And so sometimes I think that we mistake a miracle for what God can do, because for him, it's normal. It's not as though something that were contrary to the laws of physics and the laws of the world or the universe or whatever, but it's normal for him because it is his nature and normal to his existence. He doesn't see it as being miraculous. For him, it's just common. So, in a lot of ways, my faith is just one of expectation. I just expect certain things to happen in miraculous ways because for me, they're not miraculous. They're normal to, because he's God. <laughs> my definition of God, I guess, is bigger. So that for me, I don't see it as being that big a deal. I see it as simple where other people go, ooh, wow, ah, oh, gosh. And I keep thinking, well, what would you expect of God to do? The birds? <laughs> God calling. Expect many miracles. My guardianship is so wonderful. Expect not one miracle, but many. Each day's happenings is of my working and under my control are miracle works. And really, that's what it boils down to is that everything about you and around you and with you is really miraculous, whether you are treating it as common and you're used to it, or whether you're seeing it with better eyes for the first time. I know when I was dying that the very plant life I'm looking at right now, you may see just simply green and maybe a little red and not notice the intricate detail of even the texture that's on these leaves, how they feel, and the intricacies of how there's little feathery things that or little hairs that grow up along the stalks. And when I was dying, I would notice that, is that I was very aware and acutely in touch with the detail of everything about me that I could see. My sense of, of olfactory or my nose sensories was in heightened, you know, meaning that I could smell things I had never smelled before. And my ears, they seemed like they could hear a lot better. And I was more appreciative and spending more of my attention on the very simple aspect of living. And when I didn't die, I kind of went back to, oh, that's normal. <laughs> See, I'm just like you. And I think that if we could see what really is going on behind the scenes, we'd realize that the miraculous is happening all about us, all the time, always. And that we don't need to overreact to something that's a miracle, but that we can give thanks for everything that is about our life because it is miraculous. There's a wonder if you learn to appreciate that which you have about you now, today, even the things that you cannot see, like Jesus, who will meet you each and every day, 
whether you see him or not. And that is miraculous. So today, expect a miracle. Expect to hear something new. Expect to see something different. Expect to enjoy in a more intimate way the things that you take for mundane and everyday. And let God turn that simple, practical reality you might be looking at into something miraculous. Like the day I was out here on the porch and a hummingbird came. And the rest of what the hummingbird did is the miracle between him and I and God. <laughs> so expect a miracle. You might be surprised.